story behind the surprise guests on Nirvana's classic MTV Unplugged episode. Although the Meat Puppets had been steadily issuing music and touring since the early 80s, it was not until two-thirds of the band appeared on Nirvana's now classic Unplugged appearance in late 1993 that many mainstream rock fans first became aware of the veteran punk band from Phoenix, Arizona. And their popularity would soar even higher the following year, due the popularity of their hit single slash video Backwater, plus the release of Nirvana's MTV Unplugged in New York album in the wake of Kurt Cobain's tragic suicide in April 1994. In the 2012 book, Too High to Die, Meet the Meat Puppets, all three original puppets, singer slash guitarist Kurt Kirkwood, bassist Chris Kirkwood, and drummer Derek Bostrom, recalled how both Kirkwood brothers wound up performing three tunes from their 1984 album, Meat Puppets 2, and also, why Bostrom was not involved. We were lucky to be on tour with Nirvana the week directly before Unplugged, and we had heard that he wanted to perform Oh, Me, on the show, recalled Bostrom. Obviously, Cobain had this agenda for being on MTV that involved an eclectic mix of bands he liked. Not just what MTV wanted. So he wanted to learn our song, but there was never time. We said, screw it, we'll just go on there with you and play it. And he went for it. His neck was stuck way, way out, and he was feeling extremely exposed and vulnerable, and he was glad to have a posse with him, to confront MTV. So it worked out well for him, and it worked out fucking fantastic for us. However, Kurt recalls sensing a weird vibe from the television network. You could tell MTV were a little bit like, what's this, dot. There were people there that didn't really even like us, that didn't get it. We were not entirely welcomed, and I never felt entirely welcomed at MTV. There was always somebody there who was a fuckhead who didn't know what the fuck was going on, who was willing to stand in the way. We felt we had got the ball going along concurrent with them, and they started adopting our scene. They didn't tend to it that way, they were definitely tending to their own tastes. Chris theorizes that the odd vibe from MTV was due to a misconception over who the special guests that Nirvana had invited were going to be. When Cobain went to MTV and said, I have some special guests I want to bring on the show, you can see MTV's eyes light up. Oh. Eddie Vedder. Or oh. Chris Cornell. Somebody that they had already deemed appropriate for their relationships with their corporate sponsors or whatever the fuck that made me the miserable, left out, never was. But when he told them it was the meat puppets, MTV wasn't down with it. They were like, oh no, you can't do that. And he was like, fuck you. It's too late. And why exactly did Bostrom not participate? They didn't need me, and I was so sick of touring by that time, admits the drummer. We damn near killed ourselves getting back to Phoenix in order to catch a flight to get to New York. Because we were in Colorado, and it was blizzarding, and we said, we have to hightail it back to Phoenix immediately. They wanted us to go to Telluride in the middle of a snowstorm to perform a concert. We had huge fights with our manager, huge fights with the promoter, and we were like, we're not going, sorry. Just got caught in the blizzard, and it could have gone either way. Three Meat Puppets tunes would be performed at the taping at Sony Music in NYC on November 18, 1993, Plateau, Omi, and Lake of Fire, with Cobain supplying vocals, Kurt Kirkwood and Chris Novoselic strumming six strings, Chris Kirkwood thumping the bass, and Dave Grohl gently tapping the drums.